The following is a demo yeah. of yeah, the digital cool. storytelling yeah. assignment. So what you'll do first is you need to get some pictures to bring into your iMovie. And if you don't know how to access iMovie, what you'll do is you can look for the icon for iMovie down below. It's right here. It's the little star with the camera on it. If it's not appearing down low, come over here to the find button, click on it. Go to apps, applications, and then scroll down and you'll find it alphabetically under iMovie right there. You'll double click on it. And after you've double clicked on it, it will bounce down here. Oh, yeah, he, 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 he was close this up he was doing, like, he and like open night. So first, we're going to get pictures to put onto iMovie. So one place that I like to look at is Creative Commons, because I can find content there that will not violate copyright. So if you go to licenses, go to find content. Let's go to American flag. And let's look at Google Images for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this picture here. I'll click on it. Then I'll right click on that. We're going to save the image as. I'd recommend saving it onto your desktop. So let's go ahead and sit there and you will see it appear over there off to the right hand side. Now all you're going to do is click on the picture that you want and drag it over here into these panes. Let go. And then you'll see it appear. So if you do that for all of the pictures, you just bring them straight onto your iPhone. All right, next what you want to do is add a narration. To add a narration, you'll come up here to the microphone and click it. As it points out here, to record, click and click where you want the voiceover to begin. So let's say we want it to begin right here. I'll go ahead and click. And then it will begin recording my voice. When I want it to stop, I just click again. Next, we're going to add music. To add music, come over here, find the notes icon. Go and select that. Uh, choose one of these. You can click on it and listen to it. I think that sounds fine. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this and drag it over here to the picture. Next, I want to add a title. So let's come over here to the T and click on it. I'll choose the title that I like. Let's choose this one right here. I'm going to grab it and place it where I'd like it to show up. And then you also get to choose the background. So we'll go ahead and choose a green background. I probably wouldn't in real life, but that's okay. Then you'll come up here to this pane and Enter the title and your name. So, <laughs> democracy. <laughs> okay, and once you have the title, we're going to be putting the credits on. So, let's come back over here, click done, come over here, and we will drag the credits. We'll put the curtain on there. And then come up here. And for the credits, what we want is we want the name of the person. Let's say that we were citing a picture that I took. Put Wendy Porter. Then put the name of the picture. Let's say that was American flag. And then get the location where you got it. So let's pull back up the internet. Let's go to visit page so we can see where this comes from. And then copy this. Come right in there and paste it in. So you need to do that for all of the photos and you also need to do that for the music. So please keep that in mind. After you're all done, what you'll do is be sure that this is maximized. Then go to share. Go to export using <laughs> I recommend saving it to the desktop. This will take a little while.
because today's almost over, and then tomorrow's almost <laughs> over, and then next month's almost over. Like, it'll be here, you know? <laughs> that's 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 and then when that's done, yeah, that's it. That's go and minimize iMovie, and you'll come over here and you'll see it. So go ahead and double click. <laughs> And look for this icon right here. You'll push it. You're going to send this to YouTube. Log into YouTube and go ahead and upload it there. And then submit it on campus. So congratulations, you're done.